everyone and welcome this is my follow-up video for my Toyota Tacoma SR5 I put a video out about three weeks ago when I first bought the vehicle and I'm getting a lot of responses to it and a lot of people want to know more about the truck so I'm gonna give you a quick overview of the things that I've learned I'm still learning still haven't read through the owner's manual typical guy I gotta follow it figure it out on my own but this is some of the stuff that I've learned so far uh, love the truck I mean this thing is beautiful I had a 2012 Chevy Colorado before this um, it was a five cylinder it was a the Z71 package off-road this truck blows it out of the water this truck is incredible uh, the handling the pickup I'm getting better gas mileage in this thing this thing has a V6 the um, Colorado ha had a five cylinder and I get better of a gas mileage on this. So I'm running on average roughly about 24 to 26 miles per gallon. Uh, I'm going longer um, between Phillips on this truck than I did with my old one. Uh, generally from quarter tank, it cost me about 35 bucks to fill it up, which isn't bad uh, considering the amount of mileage that I drive each week. Uh, the handling, uh, the engine running, everything is beautiful. I am having problems transmission shifting. Uh, it, it shifts very funny, and I'm going to give it to 1,000 miles just to make sure everything's broken in. Um, but if I'm still having problems with it, I'm going to have to bring it back to the dealership to find out if there's something wrong with the transmission. Because I notice even when it's downshifting, as I'm slowing down every now and then, I'll get a clunk. So we'll have to get that checked, uh, make sure that that's okay. Other problem that I'm having is I've got the entertainment system in this. When I first got the truck, I could hook up my iPhone and I had no problems with it playing the music from my iPhone right through the, the, the stereo system. Well, over the last two days, I'm getting saying that there's an error that um, I have to check the owner's manual on how to hook up the, an iPod. So I don't know what the problem is. I don't know whether there's a problem with the USB connection uh it's connecting fine with the um through the bluetooth but with the bluetooth it's the songs are very soft so it's uh, i've got to have the stereo cranked almost to the top to be able to hear them so it's that's not an option um but other than that i am loving this truck uh i think it was a great investment that i made uh everything that i checked the toyota tacomas are high in resale and everyone that I talk to that's had one, they love them. So, uh, this is the first Toyota I've ever owned, and I'm at three weeks now. Tomorrow will be, I'll have the truck three weeks. And like I said, so far, I love it. So, what I'll do is, I'm in this video, I'm collecting different, different videos, uh, some action shots, some different types of shots. So, you know, bear with me on it, and... Uh, Hopefully, hopefully you enjoy this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want, if you need any information on the truck. Because I know on the first video that I put out, a lot of people were asking questions that I didn't know yet. Uh, I hadn't been driving the truck that much, and a lot of people were saying that they were looking at them. And they, you know, YouTube is great. I love the videos on YouTube for making a choice. So. Uh, if, if you're indecided about a couple of different brands, watch the videos. Uh, you get no better um, information, I guess you would say, on a product than by product people that own it. Uh, and it's a good way to compare different products. Because to be honest, most people own things, they're going to be honest about it. <laughs> and I'll be honest about this. Everything that I found out with this truck, anything that I've done, uh, anything that's done to me, uh, I'll let you know. So, welcome to my three-week Toyota Tacoma SR5 review. All right, like I said, one of the things that, one of the problems that I'm having right away is with my iPhone connecting to the stereo. Uh, when I first got the truck, I could just plug the USB in and it would go in. Right now, that's not happening. So we got. I got to figure out what's wrong with it. So I do have to go through the owner's manual. Uh, I have to read. <laughs> I hate reading things, so that's why I, I do this stuff on my own. But let me show you what it's doing. All right, we'll put the vehicle into aux. The stereo comes on. Yeah. 
Okay. So this is it. Right now, the USB is not connected. We will connect the iPod here. And we will connect it into the USB port. So it's still saying the audio is off. So I'll press that. Okay, so it does show my phone now. But if I press this, to go to my phone, it says the audio play is disconnected. Now, I haven't gotten this before. Let me try starting the truck up. See what it does. I'm gonna go through the Toyota screen again. Again, my phone is connected. Continue. Hmm. See? It's a connection error. Now the phone's connected. Now it's not connected. I wonder. Ah, I might have just figured it out. The source. Box phone. Alright, maybe I know if I go into the music. We'll go to playlists. We'll go to Mark's playlist. Okay. See now again it says the audio's off. Go to Mark's phone. What I'll do is let's unplug it. Let's flip it over. Let's plug it in again. So it's connected now. Let's see what it does here. Saying a connection error. So let's see if I just play. No. Now it works that way. And I, don't want no one to cry. I mean, oh, okay, that was USB. See how much softer it is through. All right, so that's one thing I'm going to have to figure out is why I'm all of a sudden getting a connection or is it a problem with my cable? I have no idea. Is it a problem with the USB connection? <clears throat> one thing I like also, and most vehicles have this now, but I have the controls on the dashboard itself so I can make a call, hang up with a call, uh, go through the different modes. I can raise the volume, change the songs with this. And this is the voice activated. If I press that. How may I help you? Using this allows me to select something. So tune to 103.7 FM. Tuning to 103.7 FM. 100. No more ri.org. It's the Drive and Discover event at Colonial South Chrysler Jeep. Try it again. How may I help you? Tune to 94.1 FM. Tuning to 94.1 FM. We'll do one more. I'm not sure whether this will work. What would you like to do? Tune to XM Channel 8. Say the list number of the one you want, or say none of these. None of these. <clears throat> okay, please try another command. Play music. The music catalog is being loaded. Please try again later. Okay, so that's the audio. I'm still working on that. I also have apps on this. Okay, we go to the audio. I could go to my phone and check my text messages, which I have none. Go back to apps. Eco shows my average gas mileage. So for today, so I'm getting 21.2 miles. Not too good today. We'll go back to apps. That's set up so I can change it. I can check what the local traffic is. And check the current weather. And I even have GPS, which I have to connect through the Bluetooth on the phone. Okay, so you say, okay. 
That I gotta do is I gotta open it up on my phone. Okay, I think it's on now, so I'll click OK. And there we go. I can search. See where the closest gas station is here. Right, and that shows the closest gas stations to my house. We go back. And let's see the closest food places here. Okay, this place is closed. They went out of business. At Wright's Farm, Water, Gators, yep, they're all around me. And this closest place for coffee. Leo love that app. And those are the closest places for coffee around us. The entertainment system is really good. Uh, we'll go back to the home page. And I can set this up however I want. I'll do that some other time. But that's the entertainment system on it. All right, this is in the dashboard. This is uh, just different from information. Uh, gives you basically temperature outside. You know, all that information, how fast, I have it set to how fast you're going and distance to empty. Check it. My average fuel economy right now is 21.6 miles a gallon. Okay, I'm not on a trip or anything right now. And that's it for this first setting. Second setting is what's on the phone. Okay. So I can change it through there. on Radio Disney because I have three month trial of XM Radio. Okay. Okay. I have two daughters so of course I'm going to have Disney stuff. Okay. Let's go over here. It tells me the tire pressures on my truck. That was my text messages, which I have none. And this is my settings, so I can customize this. All right, so like I said, that's my dash. You have the same general warning lights as any other vehicle. It's my tachometer, my temperature gauge, um, saying that I'm not wearing my seatbelt and my parking brakes on, the speedometer and gas gauge, uh, 140 on the speedometer. That's pretty cool I will never get it up that fast okay got on the right hand side I can get it in focus and we got the windshield wipers okay same general functions as any other one this side over here God, why won't this focus okay we got our um, headlights okay and then down here and right this here that's my cruise control. Press it in to start it. Push it down to set. Resume. And then turn it, bring it back to cancel. Uh, I like the shifter. It's more comfortable here. One of the things I can show you here is, and it's one of the things I think that's great. It's going to be um, standard on all vehicles. So when you put it in reverse, it's a rear dash cam. You can see what's behind you. This is going to be great when I hook up my boat and all that stuff. So, all right, let's shut this down. Hey, okay, it always gives you a summary of your trip when you turn it off. That's just some basic functions of the Toyota Tacoma SR5. Uh, check it out. Um, let me know what you think. I'll go over the, some of the exterior features in, a, in just a few seconds. Taking a little off-road here. I figured I'd stop and just get with you guys, let you know what's going on. Uh, just show you the surroundings. Unfortunately, trees look really bare right now. We're getting killed by gypsy moths up in this area, but, you know, what are you going to do? But this is the Toyota Tacoma SR5. It's my baby. Love this truck. I'll take you inside, show you a little bit of it. 
the ECT, that's the electronic control transmission, gives you that little extra push when you need to get up onto the highway. Air conditioning is ice cold in this thing. It's beautiful. And the one thing I love comes with a GoPro mount. This is a wonderful truck. Oh, I love this thing. Compared to my 12, 2012 Colorado, this thing is awesome. So let's go a little bit more off-road. One thing that this truck has that I didn't understand at first is a locking tailgate. Thinking about it, I understand if you put a tunnel cover on it, that you know makes it more secure. The other thing I realized with it is, and found out, someone actually let me know through the um, the last video, is that these tailgates are stolen. The camera for the backup is right here, and the tailgate, which makes them very expensive. So my gate is locked. Let's use the ignition key to lock it. And it's got a soft open. So, a little hint. You may want to keep your, um, your tailgate locked at all times. Because they are a high theft item. I would have never thought of it. Another feature that I love with this truck is rear sliding window so nice just to get a little bit of breeze going into the truck uh, without having to open up all four windows uh, it really airs the truck out on a hot day uh, gets it cools it right down so that's a great feature another feature that this truck has that i find extremely useful is the tie downs are actually on the outside of the bed most trucks have a bed liner and the tie downs or the clamps are within the bed liner this truck here they are actually on the exterior of the bed liner. One there. And one there. And this is the same on the other side. The truck also has rear storage on both sides. And a bed rail system. With one clamp there, one clamp there. Which is good if I wanted to put a bike rack or some type of kayak rack or something like that on the tr on the truck. That's the review of my 2016 Toyota Tacoma SR5. Uh, so far, I love the truck. A couple of minor, little minor things that that I need to address, but other than that, it, this truck is awesome. Uh, I hope to have it for a long time. I know my daughter, who will be driving four or five years, says that it's going to be hers once she starts driving. We'll see on that. But uh, I really like the truck. If you have any questions or any comments or any suggestions with the truck, with this truck, or your own truck, whatever, uh, let me know. Leave them in the comments below. Uh, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, my name is Mark Plant, and this is MPV Vlogs. Feel free to subscribe below. Uh, I'll be doing more videos like this. Uh, products, product placements, uh, just general information videos i guess you would call them uh subscribe and you'll get the notification when they come up always leave a comment let me know if you like the video let me know if you didn't like the video let me know if you don't care but again thanks for watching and again reviewing my toyota sr5